Hey, what's up you guys? It's Zach with PC Bros. And today I am going to show you exactly how we benchmark games, what you're gonna need, how to get that FPS to show up while you're playing games, and how to create your own benchmarks if that's something you wanna do. So there's a couple things that you're gonna need in order to do that. One of those is gonna be MSI Afterburner. I'll show you how to get that in a second. And then the other one is going to be a capture card. Here's a couple I recommend. You don't need to get these exactly, but these are the ones that we've used quite a bit here in the office. This is the one I personally use for the PC Bros benchmark setup because it works quite nicely with like a two PC kind of setup. One benchmark, one's uh, recording the actual gameplay on OBS. And there's two different like kind of versions of this. This one's the one that goes into your PC with the PCIe uh, slot here and here is a, another one that has that same kind of hdmi in and out system very simple very effective now these are kind of expensive so if you actually want to record the gameplay for the benchmarks and be able to edit that after you are going to need something like this you do not need to go elgato if you don't like it but that's just the ones we, we recommend because we use so many of them the next thing you're going to need to get is msi afterburner so this software actually comes with Riva Tuner, and that is the thing that's going to show the FPS on screen. So we're gonna need this because this is a good tool for benchmarks, as well as if you're interested in overclocking. So you're gonna make your way to the MSI website, go to MSI Afterburner here, and we are going to have the final version. We want to download that one. And once you have it downloaded, you're going to have a setup like this. So you'll just click on that, run the English, Click next, accept, and you wanna make sure when you get to this part that you have Riva Tuner statistic server like checked. You want this box to be checked. Then you'll click next, next, and install. All right, when you get to this, I just uncheck show readme. That will just do a pop-up of, of like the, the manual or something like that. Like it's not that important. And then when you finish that download, MSI Afterburner should open up just like this. And if you go down here to the bottom right, you should see this little icon. This is Reba Tuner. You wanna click on that and open it and I'll show you what to do with that. So this is what MSI Afterburner and Reva Tuner look like. This is just all of the options you get for what the display FPS is gonna look like or the display whatever criteria you pick to display. So the only thing I really care about here is this little, um, zoom function. This is just how big it's going to display when you're playing a game. Now you can even go a step further than that. There's like little fill. You can take out the fill, the shadow. You can get rid of all of that. It's however you like to do it. I just make sure it's big enough, not too big. And this is what we actually need to go through in settings and in monitoring. And this is where we go through and pick all of the s computer components that you actually want to have data on. So you go through, the ones that we like to do are GPU temperature. And when you click on one that you want, you're going to check show on-screen display, scroll down, click overwrite group name, and then that's when you get to write in your own thing here. We've done the 1660 Super. And then make sure this is checked. And if it says in OSD, that should mean you're good to go for that one. So go through and do the same thing with GPU usage, CPU temperature, CPU usage. You can do CPU clock if you want, CPU power, RAM usage, and then a frame rate. When you get down here, make sure you do click the check mark that will allow you to actually edit and uh, use it. So make sure you have all of those checked, changed, and they all show in OSD. That means you are good to go and it should pop up in the games. So when you're fully set up here, you have the capture card, you have Riva Tuner downloaded, you have MSI Afterburner working and all the criteria set that you need for benchmarks. Now we can actually go into the games and to get good consistent scientific benchmarks, we like to use games that have an auto benchmark or a built-in benchmark feature. Here's a list of those here. Some of these are actually even free to use. You don't need the actual game. I think that's like uh, Black Myth Wukong. You do not need the actual game. You can just download this free on Steam and use it as a benchmark tool to have consistent benchmarks if you're trying to test specific parts on specific settings. Now, you, these will still pop up for just about any game. There's a couple games that have 
issues with Riva Tuner. I believe CSGO is one of those. For, but for the most part, as long as you have this application running in the background and Riva Tuner set up, then it should pop up for every single game. So let's go ahead and get into one of those auto benchmark tools here. Here's the free one I mentioned. Okay, we are now in Black Myth Wukong. Here is all of the criteria that we had set. You see it's popping up here. We have the GPU, CPU, RAM, and then the frames per second right here, um, as well as some of the other percentages like max temp and stuff like that up here. And this size right here is perfect, I think, for the average benchmark video. So let's get into a benchmark to see what this would look like. Now this PC I am doing this on isn't really meant for this exactly, so the benchmarks won't be crazy. But this just gives us a little idea here. Make sure when doing any benchmarks that you have VSync turned off. That way the frames per second can range how it needs to and not capped at a certain point. So yeah, this is how benchmarks will be looking. I am recording this on OBS uh, for this video, but you're gonna be using your capture card. You can also just record on OBS if you want to. Uh, for the most part, that will work. There might be a little bit of quality issues, but if you don't want to invest all that money into capture card right away, OBS would work, um, but just know it's gonna be using a little bit more power too, so that will all affect the benchmarks. Hopefully this video was helpful and let me know in the comments down below what other quick how-to videos I can do to help you all in this new year coming up. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.